The best of the morning. X. 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 It'd be nice to talk to a talking head, wouldn't it? It would be great. Well, look, there's one right there. Get him. Hey, you. Chris Franz, how are you? I'm very good, thanks. How are you? Doing well. We haven't seen you in about three years since we were in New York the last time. Yeah, we, I guess we were doing something with the heads then. You were. Right. That was yeah. when the No Talking Just Head Heads record came out. Yeah. And uh, that was the, I guess that was the last thing that you guys put out, just the, the three of you? Yes. Um, we're, well, we're working on a, Tina and I are working on a new Tom Tom Club album now. Really? You might remember the Tom Tom Club. Yeah, of course. Wow. Well, Steve probably uh, just popped a wood right now in his car driving, and he's the retro boy. <laughs> Tom Tom, Tom Tom Club. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, uh, as a matter of fact, we're just rehearsing for a couple of shows out west over the Labor Day weekend. Um, Could that turn into something, you know, more than just a couple of shows? Well, it would be great if it did, but um, I think we, what we want to do is finish up this record we're working on and then do, do some shows in the spring. And now, uh, uh, it's going to take us a little while because, you know, we're very meticulous. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> so what do you... What do you do all day? I mean, are you working on music 24 hours? I mean, not 24 hours, well, but every day, or are you just kind of enjoying life right now? Or Well, uh, both. You know, I, I we alternate between enjoying life and working on music, although, you know, the two are really not mutually yeah, exclusive. Right. <laughs> but we, um, you know, we have a sailboat. This summer, Tina and I went sailing for How big? a few weeks. Uh, it's a, she's a sloop, 48 feet. Good wow, size. I didn't realize Tina was that big. Stop <laughs> it. Oh, this the boat is. I, I'm sorry. Uh, 48 size sloop, four foot size sloop. That is a nice size. What does it sleep? About five, six people? Six people uh, easily, yes. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, wh- where did you learn how to sail? Well, I'm, I kind of uh, learned from Tina's father, who's a uh, retired admiral. And um, I, w- I grew up in Kentucky and, and Pennsylvania, so I... I didn't really uh, have a lot of sailing right. in my background, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of an advanced amateur, I guess you'd say. Any seasickness problems in um, the household? Not, not usually. It depends on the weather, you know. Right. Right. <laughs> Chris, in the wake of all these reunions going on, any chance, any chance at all of any kind of Talking Heads reunion? Well, you know, uh, wouldn't it be such a great thing if we did? <laughs> yeah, I mean, really. Seriously, at- I mean, everyone's doing it. It's the thing to do. Yeah, um, I I would love to do that, and I'm I'm sure uh, most of the band would. But we have a our erstwhile lead singer is uh, he he looks down his nose at reunion. Really? So, when was so, the last time you talked to David Byrne? The last time? Yeah. Um, well, he chooses to communicate by email these days. But uh, the last time I actually spoke to him was I guess in uh, June. We spoke. Now, when you say uh, he looks down at reunions, is that uh, is that to imply that it's just the fact that he doesn't like reunions, or uh, is the relationship not quite at the point where it would want to be, where you guys would reun, where you guys would reunite anyway? Oh, I think it's a yes to both questions. Okay, that's so, too bad. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's a waste. Where, where did that where did that happen? What what happened there? Um, I don't mean to go over old, old news, but I mean, we, we yeah, haven't talked I, in a long time. I, you know, I wish I knew. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, uh, the, the Tina and Jerry and myself were, uh, you know, I, I think stunned is a pretty good word when we, uh, to describe the, the feelings we had when uh, we, we stopped working together. Huh. Because um, when you look at the movie Stop Making Sense, you'll see that, you know, well, the band was, uh, the performances of Talking Heads at towards the end of our career were kind of like, I, I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that they were almost like a religious experience. And I don't know, maybe David just converted to some other religion. <laughs> he left the building. Was it, towards the end, was it, be, get, it you're, so you're saying towards the end it was not like it, it wasn't getting any fun. I mean. No, uh, things were better than ever, but you know how some people, uh, Kind of like the better things get, the grumpier yeah. they get. And and they start looking to see where the grass might be greener. Yeah. And it's too bad when it's the lead singer, too, because it's kind of tough to do a reunion without him. So I mean, you, true. You could, but, I mean, it's just... Well, some yeah. bands can pull that off, but a guy well, like David... You know what would be great is if the lead singer died. 
And then, and then it's okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> then wow. everybody can remember how wonderful he was. Chris we'll, Franz. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be sure to pass those salutations on to David. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's too bad when it's the lead singer, too, because it's kind of tough to do a reunion without him. So I mean, you, true. you could, but, I mean, it's just... Well, some yeah. bands can pull that off, but a guy well, like David... You know what would be great is if the lead singer died. And then... And then it's okay. <laughs> right. Then wow. everybody well, can remember how wonderful he was. Chris we'll, Franz. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be sure to pass those salutations <laughs> on to David. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, of course, Jerry Harrison has gone on to be one of the, you know, producers extraordinaire of the past decade. Yeah, Jerry has... Um, he's just produced the new live I know. album, which is... Suppose uh, you all might be getting some advanced copies. We have one song. We can't wait to get the full record, but uh, Jerry's a great producer. You know, uh, the reason that uh, we wanted to talk to you this morning is because we know that Stop Making Sense is actually being re-released. Yes, Uh, after 15 years. Wow, 15 years. Yeah, isn't that something? So um, So he saw fit to approve that, I guess. Yeah, oh yeah. In fact, I think... um, David has never looked better than he does in Stop Making Sense. You know, th- that's interesting. It's an interesting point, though, kind of that Barnes is alluding to, because you would think if the if a person was that against the concept of reunions, and I'm guessing that stems from a, a feeling of not wanting to travel back and always move forward, then why release why re-release I, the movie? Make I, I know, I know. Um, uh, some people are just contrary, I yeah. guess. So what's new now? It's a digitally remixed and remastered. It's it's yeah. It's on DVD now, or mm-hmm. it will be in October, and it's going around to theaters at the moment. I guess I guess it's probably in a theater in Atlanta. Uh, is of it, course, yeah. directed by Jonathan Demme. Directed by Jonathan Demme, although that's not new. He directed it back exactly. Then too. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, there's uh, going to be a few songs on the, well, there's seven songs on the CD that weren't on the original CD, because back when the original CD came out, it was, uh, CDs were early on, and people hadn't figured out that you could put more on a CD than you could on a vinyl record. Right. right. So uh, there's seven songs on the CD that weren't on the original vinyl. Excellent. And there's also uh, three songs plus the usual DVD commentary by the stars on uh, the DVD. They can and, cram so much stuff on those DVDs now. Yeah, yeah. We didn't really, we weren't really crazy about the idea of adding any commentary to it, but then the people at uh, Chris Blackwell's new company, Palm Pictures, that's releasing it, said, well, you know, the DV- people who buy D- DVDs really expect to have some additional commentary by the director and by the stars, so we cooperated with that. Back uh, in, I think it was uh, 82, whatever year it was, maybe 80, 82 or 83, the L.A. Times said the Talking Heads was the most influential band of the 80s. Actually, it, it was later than that if they were saying that. But um, my question to you is, at the time... Did you guys feel that much different than everybody else? Did you feel like you were really breaking new ground? Or to you, was it just what you what came naturally and it was what you'd always done? And it well, didn't seem... um, you know, we were always trying to break new ground. And I, I think sometimes we did succeed. Uh, maybe not every single time. But that was the whole thing with Talking Heads. We, um, you know, when we had one success, we'd always try to top it with a different type of... Uh, you know, move in a different direction that, that hopefully would be a little bit unexpected. Mm-hmm. And and um, I, I think we we were we pretty much succeeded at that. You know, um, I, I'm also aware of the fact that a lot of the kids growing up today have no idea who Talking Heads were. Isn't that weird? And, and uh, so maybe it's a good time that a good time for this DVD to come out mm-hmm. now because we're we're kind of both revered and unknown at the same time. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I, I think of, when I think of you guys and Duran Duran, the one thing I, I, I see as a common thread is you look back at like the videos that you guys were doing back in the early 80s, and I think they hold up as well today to any of the stuff that's being put out today as they did back then, and the same with some of the early Duran Duran stuff. A uh-huh. lot of bands, when you look at their earlier work, it just you know it just seems so dated, and it just doesn't seem to work any you know compared uh-huh. to today's stuff. But you know, you look at "Stop Making Sense," and I, I mean, I'd hold it up to any concert film today. You know, what we need we need a behind the music with Talking Heads. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, doesn't that mean you're you're over and done? No, so no, no just that you had a very interesting yeah. story. Apparently, they did a great one with Debbie Harry, didn't they, with Blondie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now they do that other show. Where are they now? And that's kind that's of implies. The show. But, oh, okay. Yeah. But I, I see yeah. the difference. Behind the, the music cool. is more of a historical. Yeah. Look at the band. Do you Chris, think? Do you think David would would agree to do something like that? Do you think he'd participate in a in a show? I mean, I you can't think for well, him. Well, but... I'm I'm sorry. Your guess is as good as mine on that one. Wow. Just send him an email and get yes. back to yes. him. Send him an email. <laughs> if you want to give out his email address, we'll email him. Yeah. All right. Uh, hey. Yeah. I I think it's David at Todomundo dot com. <laughs> Todomundo. Right. Yeah, that's his little company. Well, Toto Mundo means the whole world. Mm-hmm. That's yes, nice. exactly. All righty. Well, Chris, it was good talking to you again. Good talking to you all. Well, good look luck. for Stop Making Sense. Yeah, good luck with the re-release, and we'll see you soon. Thank tell, you for calling. Tell good Tina we said hello. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. The best of the morning X. 99X.